before we get into the breakdown, we're going to do the weights. Usyk came in at 221, which is the heaviest I believe he's ever weighed for a fight. And on the flip side, Anthony Joshua came in at 240 even. However, he weighed with socks on, long pants, his headphones, and the necklace. So his real weight's probably around 237. Before I get into this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, sub, notification bell. Now let's get into this. So I haven't done one of these in a very long time, and I'm not going to go on and on and on with this video, being that I've been so swamped with work, but this is my prediction. I think an upset is going to happen. I think Usyk is going to beat Anthony Joshua. I think in the rematch, Anthony Joshua will come back much better. However, especially seeing that Usyk went with Papachenko, I think the game plan for this is jump in swarm aj with a barrage of punches jump out jump in swarm him with a barrage of punches jump out that's really how i see this going um the biggest thing that aj had was his power i don't see the type of power that he used to have in his last two fights i just haven't seen the power i have not seen the same power from aj people can disagree with me they have disagreed with me but i'm gonna say this whenever he fought andy ruiz the first time he put him on his ass. He knocked him flat down and then he got wild, got caught, and that's why he ran into the punch and couldn't recover from it. It had nothing to do with his conditioning, had nothing to do with him being too big. In fact, he landed the hardest shot in drop Ruiz in the first fight being bigger. He went back to the drawing board, came in lighter, I believe at 237, which is actually the weight he is now if you take away from all the clothing he was wearing. He fought Ruiz boxed him beautifully. However, he never hurt Ruiz. Ruiz was getting frustrated to the point of where he was throwing his hands down in his waist, telling AJ to come forward to fight him. AJ did not engage, which is fine. It's boxing. But my point is this. When you're hitting a punching bag and you don't hurt that punching bag, that tells me that there's something going on with your power. Move to the next fight. Yes, he knocked out Pulit. However, I watched AJ land his bread and butter, his uppercut that hurts people. It must have been somewhere in between five to seven uppercuts back to back in a row. And Pulev kept coming forward. He kept landing uppercuts. He kept landing straights. He kept landing shots that we've seen AJ stun guys with. And Pulev, who was much older when AJ fought him, ate a lot of them. He did get knocked out, but he ate a whole lot of shots that we're not used to seeing fighters eat from AJ. So that tells me that a lighter AJ does not have the same type of power. Now, is power everything in a fight? No, it is not. You can look at Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. However, what you got to look at is certain things like this. Can you hurt Usyk at 240? If the answer is no, and you had the possibility to hurt him at, say, 250, then you're foolish for dropping that weight. Why? Because we already know Usyk has a granite chin. He has a granite chin. He can get hit, pop cleanly, and he keeps coming at you. I cannot think of a time when I've seen him hurt. And maybe AJ will be the ones who hurt him, but I don't think he will. Not at 240. Now, again, we have Usyk coming in at 221, and that was in underwear, nothing else on. So pretty close to 221 is his natural weight. AJ, long pants, headphones necklace etc socks 237 i'm seeing about a 16 pound difference in between the two so you got to keep that in mind too everybody talks about how much bigger aj is but in all actuality what really matters about size is your weight and his weight has been reduced to 16 pounds where if he was still at 250 you're looking at 29 pounds so he gave up a lot of weight to be leaner and we're going to see if it benefits him because if AJ goes in here and he cannot hurt Usyk, Usyk is going to be on top of him the entire fight. He swarms you. That's the way he fights. I call Usyk death by a thousand pillows because each individual punch he hits you with does not hurt, but he keeps hitting you and he keeps hitting you and he keeps hitting you and he keeps hitting you, you till you're out of energy, till you have nothing left. And then that's how he gets you out of there with his shots. He just... Death by a thousand pillows. That's the best way I can describe it. Usyk is not my favorite fighter. I've said multiple videos that I don't really like the death by a thousand pillows style, but it works and it works great. 
very good boxer. Now, again, when you're giving up the size, you're giving up the power because my standpoint is he's looked much weaker at the lighter weights. AJ does not seem like a guy who is naturally strong. He does not seem like a guy who is a natural knockout artist. He seems like a guy that needs to have, say, the weightlifting, the extra muscle, the strength to really catapult or be the catalyst for his true punching power. When you take that away, he loses it, which is what I have seen. I have seen a reduction in punching power. And I think in this fight, that is a fatal error that will be corrected in the next one if he loses. Emphasis on if he loses. He will put that weight back on guaranteed going to a rematch if he loses. Because here's the thing that you have to look at. When you've got a guy with a granite chin and a guy with a gas tank that doesn't deplete, you need to be able to hurt him if you cannot hurt him, which he gave up his size, he gave up his power. Again, I'm looking at his past two fights since he's lost weight, and that's how I'm coming to my conclusion that it doesn't hit as hard. Then you've got to be able to outbox him. Now, here's the question. Can Anthony Joshua outbox Usyk? And I would say no, I do not believe he can outbox Usyk. I think Usyk is by far the much more superior boxer. In fact, at these heavier weight classes, whether it be cruiserweight or heavyweight, I think Usyk is probably the most technical boxer there is in, in, in these two weight classes. So AJ is good. AJ is very technical. He's a very good fighter, but Usyk is just better than him. It's just... It just, it is what it is. Usyk is a much more skilled technical fighter. So again, you have to rely on your boxing ability, on your skills when you have a reduction in power and you're fighting a guy with a granite chin because you're not going to knock him out nine times out of 10 now. So now you have to outbox him. So this really, in my opinion, puts AJ into a compromising situation. On top of that, where I talked about earlier that Usyk's going to jump in, swarm him with punches and jump out. That is AJ's chink in his armor. It has always been his chink in his armor. He shells up really bad when people put barrages on him. He holds his guard up high and he does not look for the counter. He does not return. It has happened to him more than once. The best fight to look at is when he got hurt by Klitschko. He guarded up the entire time until Klitschko pretty much ran out of steam. Then he came back. But when Klitschko was going on his onslaught, he was not returning fire. Same thing with Andy Ruiz. When Andy Ruiz had him buzzed, the reason why he couldn't get back into the fight is he was just letting Andy Ruiz let his hands go. And he wasn't returning fire. He was just shelling up, hands up high. And whenever Ruiz would stop his barrage, he would then try to return. But then Ruiz would come back and just barrage him until he fell. That's how Usyk's going to approach this. He is going to use AJ's bad tendency, I believe, against him. And y'all will see that when Usyk starts letting his hands go and landing frequently, you're going to see that AJ is not going to be counterpunching. He is very good at counterpunching single punch fighters like, say, a Deontay Wilde or when he fought Charles Martin. He's very good at counterpunching guys who throw single shots. Usyk is not a single shot type of fighter. He is a guy that might throw a jab out there, but he's always moving. He's always looking to set up combinations. He's more of a combination fighter than he is a single punch fighter. And that is going to be the issue, in my opinion. I think that is going to be AJ's downfall is that he's going to shell up. He's not going to counterpunch. And when he lands shots on Usyk, they're not going to be that effective. You're going to see AJ having a lot less power than you're used to seeing. And people are going to chalk that up as, oh, Usyk's just got this granite chin. He's got the best chin in boxing. And while he does have a granite chin, I do believe AJ could hurt him bigger. I do believe he could hurt him. But at his current size, at his current weight, Looking at his past two fights, I don't believe he can. And I believe that while Usyk's chin is good, I don't think it's going to be as good as people are going to make it out to be by the end of it. So that's how I see it. I've got Usyk winning. 
probably on the scorecards. I would not think that AJ is going to run out of steam considering he's coming in so light. I think he's preparing to go all 12 rounds. But I could see a world to where Usyk puts enough pressure on him, hits him enough to where he wears him out, and that endurance issue that AJ has had in the past shows up and Usyk gets him out of there later. Not due to damage, not due to power, but due to exhaustion. I could see a world where Usyk could stop AJ due to exhaustion late in the fight, 10th, 11th, 12th round. I could definitely see it, but I think more than likely, it's going to go to decision and Usyk will be the winner. And I don't think this is going to be one of them fights that's going to be able to be a robbery. I don't think if it goes the way I see it going in my mind, I don't think AJ is going to have it close enough that they can give him the fight. I think it's going to be pretty clear after about the fourth round who's going to be controlling the fight from then on. That's it. I, I think from the fourth round on, you're going to see a very, very one-sided fight. And I'm not saying that AJ is going to be outclassed. I'm not saying he's going to be beat up and battered. I'm just saying that he's going to be missing and Usyk's going to be landing and it's going to be clear who the winner is of each round. That's how I see it. I know people disagree. Um, my record is very high, but we're just going to reset it to zero. We're going to reset my record to zero right now because I was somewhere around like... 68 69 right with like nine wrong i believe now one of those i was wrong about was anthony joshua you know it, it was one of them things where i made a bet a long time ago about charles martin this was before aj fought charles martin this is way before charles martin had a belt there was an english guy who used to come on my channel years ago and we were talking about prospects he told me about anthony joshua from the uk that's how i found out about him whenever aj had about seven fights and then I told him about Charles Martin from America. And then he was like, oh, AJ will beat him. I was like, I don't know. I watched AJ fight. I'm not that impressed with him at that time. And he was like, man, Charles Martin can't do anything. He's not going nowhere. Well, lo and behold, Charles Martin won a title. And then AJ challenged him to the title. By that time, I knew nine times out of 10, AJ would beat Charles Martin. However, it was too late because we had the conversation so far back about prospects. And they met. So I had to stick with the guy that I said was a prospect from America. And I was right. He won a title, but AJ beat him. So I stuck with it. And that's how I got one wrong. So this could be the second time that AJ proves me wrong. This very well could. So we'll see. We're going to reset the record to zero. And we're going to start putting these prediction videos in their own category. So people could go back to see how close or how far off I am. So again, I have Usyk winning. By decision and I would not be surprised if you're going to bet and you you feel like I feel that Usyk will win and you have the money to play with I would not be surprised if Usyk stop him late due to exhaustion because this isn't going to be AJ doesn't fight like Chisora I want to just add this before I end the video AJ will not fight like Chisora He's not going to wrestle with him. He's not going to hold him in the clinch and hit him, which is illegal. He, he's just, he's not going to fight dirty like Chisora did. AJ is going to fight him in a boxing match, not an MMA match. So I just, and then you got to keep in mind too, I believe Chisora was like 260 for that fight. And I think Usyk was 217. So Usyk's, Usyk's put on weight. AJ's taking off weight, and they're not that far away in weight. It's really not. You're looking at about 16 pounds difference between the two of them. And this is the heavyweights. They don't rehydrate because they never dehydrate to get on the scale. So you can guarantee that the, the weight gap is pretty much going to be the same come tomorrow. About 16 pounds. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section. But again, I will restate one last time. I've got Usyk winning this fight.